What's good, everybody? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Armonia. Um, last episode we got into this nice little desert thingy with Professor Mary Burke, um, Mary, um, homie with the dreads and the cute gym leader and I think that's the name. That's what her name was. And now we're inside this little pyramid. We just did that Zatu or not Na Zatu, I think Zanatu, something like that. That's what his name was. If you like this game so far, series so far, leave a like down below. If you just want to support me, you can leave a like too. Um, or if you want to see some more Pokemon content or other game content in general, just feel free to subscribe or let me know. Uh, yeah. Any hoosies. Oh, shit was good. Hey, why is she jumping around like that? Bitch. Oh, ah, look at all this. What is this? And this, guys, is exactly what not to do. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Mary, please behave yourself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ahem, yes, and you may continue. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mary. Uh-huh. What's going on? This story goes back millions of years when existence itself wasn't even unreal. Okay, was un wasn't unreal. Something like that. In those times where nothingness filled the void, the alpha Pokemon Arceus, he materialized an egg, which would give birth to two entities of similar appearance. Oh, oh I was going to say Dialga, Palkia, their first creations, the original sons of the alpha. Who? The twins, known as Malbra. Oh, shit. Is that him? Malbra? No, that's Malbra. I see Malbra. He was like the fucking Godzilla, not Godzilla, but the... That one dinosaur. Um, time was advancing. Pokemon evolved and diversified into numerous different species. One of them being the human race. What? Wait, we were once humans before? Humans lacked power. They could not spit fire, secrete, secrete poison, breathe underwater. I know that. Um, nor did they have the great strength, blah, blah. Damn, like, calm down. We know we, we're, we're weak. We're, we're bugs. Even so, they survived for thousands of years thanks to their knowledge and intelligence um, and the children of the Alpha appreciated this quality. They endowed human beings with eternal life. What? In exchange, they were to venerate them for the rest of the days. Okay? So, we're supposed to be eternal? Hmm. What's this? Oh, the war probably um, broke out. Everything seemed to be going well. However... The peace did not last long. Of course not. It never fucking does, nigga. Mankind was greedy and immortality was boring. So the ancient tribes decided to spend their time conquering and destroying each other. This made the twins very sad. It was not what they wanted. So they decided to punish our race. Bitch. Imagine, like, you didn't do shit and you get... What the fuck? Maurabra gave us the ability to perish, Okay. Um, to do this, they created four beasts, which would give the human race the defects that would make that makes us mortal. Damn. These four creatures were called famine, war, plague, and death. After this, the brothers decided to hide away in a far, far away place and thus never to be found again. Therefore, they left the world in charge of their four servants. Oh, shit. Nice. Four servants. So we gotta go fight them. Only if the harmony of the world is sullied. Will the children of the Alpha make their presence known? Or at least that's what my mother used to say. You are free to believe whatever you want. Hmm. And I have a question. You have said that the two entities emerged from the egg, but by naming it Maobra, you treat it as a single individual. Why is that? Yeah, what's the other one's name? You see, Maobra's image has always been shrouded in mystery. Some safarians suggest that he was just a single being, while others say that there were two of them. The hieroglyphs do not help really help much since in these you can only see representations of Malbra that differ greatly from each other. I wish we'd get to know like in the future, although I doubt it's going to be possible. Yeah, maybe not, unless it's up to me, nigga, because you know I'm like the joy boy of this bullshit. Hey, Simpus, look over there. Yeah, let me see that shit real quick. The engraving on the top right, doesn't it remind you of something? Um, Yeah, that shit that we had saw. It's just like in Clip Town, the archaic monolith that we saw there. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. What does that mean, man? Oh, yes, um, there are four standing stones throughout the Safar region, each with a different engraving. It is said that the places where they are placed correspond to the um, places where the beasts were last seen. What? What? Bitch, that's what I'm saying. And out of curiosity, 
Has any research been done on the peculiar composition of these monoliths? Uh, I can't answer you there. It's out of my field of study, you see? Bitch. <laughs> Although I don't think anybody has taken um, to investigating them. Scientists prefer to stay away from shit like that. Anything related to the gods. Yeah, I mean, I'd be, I'd be too, because, you know, that, shit's, that type of shit is, like, scary. That means... Dot, dot, dot. And she dancing. That means the first to unravel its mysteries will be me. Hey, I like the way she thinks. The great Professor Mary. Oh, okay. <clears throat> ah, yes. And with the help of my faithful unpaid intern, Heim, you will. Dot, dot, dot. Well, well, what's going on here? It's that one bitch. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, dears. How's life going? Long time no see. Layla, what are you doing here? Simpus, prepare to fight. Bitch. Hey, stop right there. What do you think you're doing? And it, this here, um, and this here is Layla. She runs a part of Nydia and Co. If she snuck in here, it's because she's up to no good. Let Simpus take care of her. Wait, hold on, so chill. For your information, they are my guests. Yikes. I beg your pardon, angry face. That's right, guys. My dear Annie has invited me to take a look at the pyramids. If we're going to remodel them, it's necessary to analyze the structure of this place. Re remodel? Of course, dear. Look how the place is. Any minute now, it's going to fall apart. Cover it with a few aluminum oil. Um, cover it with a few aluminum alloys, and it'll look the lot. And it'll look divine. You'll see. But Anne, do you see what this wretch is saying? Heim, you seem a little upset. Damn it, she trying him too. Relax, man. Is there anything wrong with coming to see the pyramids and visiting my dear friend? Enough is enough. We are in a holy place. If you cannot respect my guests, I will politely ask you to leave here. But, 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 Anne, no buts. Please get the hell out of here or I won't let you in anymore. What, bitch? You better listen to her. You don't want to see her when she's really angry, do you? Ah, uh, hell no. What manners of mine? I didn't even get to say hello to you, handsome. Glad to see you're in one piece. You should be careful with the temperatures in Safar. They're very extreme. Don't be careless or you'll catch a cold. Mary, we better get going. Ooh, she was so lucky. And I would, I really wouldn't be talking crazy. Because remember who clapped you. I can beat your Pokemon right now. Anybody's Pokemon I can beat right now. She lucky. That bullshit ass Arbok. Bitch, I would have put my shit to level. I would have rare candy glitched that bitch and put my shit up to like level 60. Maybe 70 and then clap that bitch. Layla, what is she up to? Every day that goes by, Nydia gives me a bad feeling. Stop hating, bro. Why are you hating on them? These riffraff are up to no good. Oh, wait. Why gave him that voice? These riffraff are up to no good. That's for sure. Heim, are you okay? That bitch is mad. No, I'm not. Do you think we should be? Hell nah. Oh, s sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. Forgive me. Oh, Mary. I shouldn't have yelled at you. No, I don't blame him for being mad, bro. Because that's like an ancient shit. Like, that's history. And she wants to take down history just to make them, like, more modern. I need to be alone. See you later. This bitch is about to turn into antagonist. Stay safe, blood. This nigga's in a desert with the fucking not two that tried to kill this. Let's give him some time alone, Simpus. You probably need to unwind a bit, too. I'll continue east, Simpus. After what Anne has told us, I want to um analyze the rest of the monoliths hidden in the safari. Perhaps by taking a look at all four, we can shed some more light on the region's past. Anyway, see ya. Alrighty then, laters. Alright, let's see what's going on. Because I seen everybody went up here, right? Oh. What's good? The gods have given me permission to challenge you in combat, bitch. Don't listen to them. I... Oh, hello. Yeah, no, listen to them. I said, no, Ryolu, Ryolu. Why is that Ryolu? Boom. Latest nigga. Bop, bop, bop. Hatina. Do, 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 do I have a poison type on me? I don't. Uh, Do you know any steel type moves? I don't. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do stomp. Boom. Oh, I forgot this is like a different Hatina. Ember? No. What the hell? Uh, Stomp. Stomp. Well, I'm a Steel type, I guess. Steel Fire type. And boom, laters. I'd have to check again. Sprong. Sprong, what's good with you, man? You ain't get no XP from that too, bro? Let's see, Sprong. What's your data shit? Oh, your rock fire type. Why do I keep... Where did I, where did I get steel type from? You look more like a steel... Every morning, I come here to pray to our Lord. Do you too? Nigga, I'm new to the region. What the hell? Nigga, look like he possessed on some shit. Hyper voice your ass. Boom. Laters. Damn, I almost one-shot that bit. Laters. 
Easy peasy. Unknown. Uh, we'll go Hagler, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Hagler is good. Uh, Aqua Jet. That did not do shit. Quick attack, baby. Never mind. Pluck. I did plug just to get that damage off. Because I knew quick attack probably wasn't going to do any damage. Uh, let's see what's good over here. Hey, what's good? Come on, Teletrum. Knock it down again and again. It is impossible to move this behemoth, man. Once they find a place to take a nap, nothing and no one is able to wake them up. Shit. Is that Snorlax? Hey, boy. What the fuck? Mitch, do you have a moment? No, I'm busy, nigga. See? Oh, shit. What's that? A relifan has decided to take a nap in the middle of the road, and no one can seem to move it. Having a home so close is very strange that he decided to settle here. Going north, you'll find the Origin Oasis, and going further up, you'll find um, Ruby Village. The village worships the relifan and their entire evolutionary line. In fact, they're, um, they are a protected species. Could you go take a look? If this relifan decided, has decided to move, it's because something strange has happened. I'll stay here to watch this big guy. If he happens to visit Kalima City, he can be a big problem to that city's inhabitants. Remember, go up from here and head north. You can't miss it. Are you serious right now, bro? Good luck. I, bitch, I could have just went over this rock and then hit that shit, hit that little Pokeball and then jumped over the ledge and then been, been over it and left you with your shit. But it looks like I got to go up north here. And with that being said, I'm going to end the episode off right over here. Um, if you guys like the episode so far, please leave a like down below. If you want to see some more Pokemon content, feel free to subscribe.